Hello and welcome to the fifth, fifth, fifth Shakespeare Sunday. Um, I'm out in my garden today because it was such a gorgeous day. There's literally not a cloud in the sky, so I thought I'd make the most of being outside to film this one. And it was Shakespeare's birthday, or alleged birthday and death day, on Thursday, 23rd of April. What birthday, though, is a birthday without a party? And what party is a party without a bit of dressing up? And that was the inspiration behind this week's Shakespeare Sunday, in which we're going to be making paper ruffs. So, all you'll need to make your paper ruffs is some printed paper, a pair of scissors, and whatever type of sort of adhesive tape you have in your house. I've got some double-sided tape because uh, that's going to make it a little bit easier but if you've just got normal cellar tape or masking tape, even packaging tape, scotch tape, any kind of tape that you have in your house will be fine for this craft. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your pieces of paper and you're going to want to cut them like so. going up this way as straight as you can so you've got lots of little strips like this. Once you've got your strips of paper what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to tape them together like so so you've got one big long strip of paper. Oh no that didn't go very well. Oh I see what that was meant to do now. Oh god oh no. Oh wait yes. Once you've got a long strip of paper all you need to do is just begin to sort of curve it round like that so you get the kind of rough you get the the outline of how of how you want your thing to go once you've got kind of your two loops here you're going to put a little bit of your adhesive oh god and just tape them together like so you've got enough rough to go around your entire neck so to explain more about what I was trying to say this is sort of the pattern that you should be ending up with roughly like this and you're going to use up as much paper as it takes to put some all the way around your neck. So once you've got your rough to a length that can go around your neck, you're going to grab a paper clip. I can't actually see what I'm doing. The ends together. And give it a little twist. That's all there is to it. You've got your very own Shakespearean rough. That's it for this week on Shakespeare Sunday. I hope you've enjoyed getting a bit crafty with us. Um, stay safe over the coming week and we will see you next time for something completely new.